hello there everyone and welcome back to the American Civil War. Let's go straight into it and then turn. Since I do not believe I have any more moves to make. Let's see if we can defeat the Confederates. I do think we stand a pretty wait, pretty good chance at defeating them. We had a... was it Mississippi? Yes, though, because I left yes, sir. Mississippi. That's why <laughs> they're on strike. Any further orders? Oh, we didn't reach... crap. Ah, uh, they're fine, though. Yes, sir. So I wouldn't actually need to... Um, need to move in here. We can just recruit some people to. Uh, we need one infantry to actually follow with the army. Actually, we'll we'll need a load of men. We'll need a load of men. Some to hold and some to march with the army because they can replace some of the um, the volunteers. We got more Confederates over there. We want to move in on Florida. Once we uh, single Florida out, we're pretty much one since they only got this place then. I was recruiting a load of troops here. Ready for so now ready. he's got some hovitzers that's going to help him out. And then he's going to need some more men. Do we have some proper troops though? Rather than the volunteers. The volunteers are fine to hold the place. But two more, or one, is it only one, wait, it's a one, one turn for the army board. That means I can recruit some better troops after that, but we can recruit some, um, some, uh, 52nd New York German Rangers. That will be a good addition to the army. Then I'm not sure. Maybe I should march out with this one to ready myself against the coming storm. But I think we'll hold on to what we have now and keep our positions and end turn. At this point, I can just keep amassing troops while the Confederates slowly starve. Only having Florida and... I'm not Chihuahua, I think it was called or something like that. Um, I'll probably have to go closer to see what it is. Alliance, give region Maryland. Technology flying shuttle. Single payment, 10,000 in military alliance. No thank you, Spain. I don't know why they always want territory. And why they want Maryland of all places. The British get involved. A serious situation developed late in the summer of 1862. At the time, as far as any European could see, the Confederacy is beginning to look very much like a winner. A northern attempt to capture the Confederate capital, capital has failed. Virginia soil has been cleared of invaders. And in the east and west alike, the Confederates are on the offensive. The British government, by very soon, offered to mediate the difference between the north and south which will be a polite but effective way of intimidating that in the opinion of Great Britain the quarrel has gone on long enough and ought to end by giving the South, south what it wants, full independence. Lord Palmerston, the Prime Minister, agrees that in the late September or thereabouts there should be a cabinet meeting at which the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary will ask approval of the mediation proposal. Implicating in all of this is the idea that if the northern government should refuse to accept mediation, Britain will go ahead and recognize the Confederacy, whereby plunging Britain into war against the United States. Palmerston conclu uh, concludes not to bring the plans before the cabinet until they get further word about Lee's success. If the Federals are beaten, then the proposal will go through. If Lee fails, then it might be well to uh, wait a little bit longer before taking any action. 
And after that, we had the Battle of Antietam, which uh, swayed the, the British to wait a little bit longer. A new town emerges. Let's go ahead and build some weavers. We will weaver. Blah, blah, blah. Do your th things. Philadelphia will get an in. And buildings constructed. Ah, yes, the uh, army board. That means that I can recruit line infantry, uh, the sharpshooter units, and I can get more Massachusetts troops. Actually, wait, didn't I have. Here we go. No? Where did I. There, up there. Yes. I totally forgot about these. My colored infantry. Under the command of Winfred Hancock. And we could have the. Why? Wait. I cannot have the. Uh, is it because uh, I don't have an army board? But now I have an army board up here, or in one turn. And then I will have the. The 54th to uh, accompany uh, this this black army or this black battalion and invade Canada with it they did well against the Indians and uh, we could test them against the bigger Indian stronghold although since we just got a message about Britain possibly joining the war maybe I should have these marched down since I need some extra manpower to uh, push the south out of the war. Yes, At the same time, we can move up here. I was hoping he would actually hide in the tall grass, but that he did not. We're gonna have some of the volunteers move away and be replaced by some actual troops. We got some Irish, we got some other people. You will march in there and army ward. Make ready. Can't do that, General. Very good. And I'm not sure if we dug in around the town or if I actually have to move out for that, but it might be well to move out and attack them before they come to me. Um, army Staff College takes five turns, gains us some recruits of um, Union Lightning Brigade. Hmm, interesting. I'm not in super need of that, but let's see. Wait, how many men? Four. We got two new of these New York, which means that I need another three units. Which could be two of the three of these. Yes, I think we'll start to move. It would be good if I could snipe cap it, go around the Confederate somehow, march around the Confederates. We could go this way to meet the big army, or we could cross here. Let's go somewhere in between to start off with. And uh, we'll go from there. And we've got our armies over here. To go ahead and smash the ones that have taken a position here. That's a job for Chamberlain and his boys. I wish I could reinforce his force, though. I would like to have a full stack for this army. But it do, it do have a lot of elite units, so maybe that's not uh, too necessary. He can move up through there, and then I guess McKellen because he's the one. It's close. And they're still happy, which is good. But we can't advance on Florida, which is... Uh, I guess would be the the current capital of the Confederacy. I bet these men will rush back. We need a victory over here. We've got three stacks coming here. We've got uh, 
two stacks over here. And then we're going one stack over there. Let's go ahead and march out and beat these bastards. But for ooh. So 5,000 versus 5,000. Let's go ahead and save before because of all the uh, all the crashes. And attack! Would charge into hell itself for that old man. Confederate soldier referring to Robert E. Lee. Well, you don't have a lot left, so maybe it's time you start charging. Although the Confederate charges are quite deadly as they come on. Um, I've been able to beat them sometimes, but... Um, they're uh, they come on very strong, and uh, it's probably best to play a little more safe than I have in the past, or at least when um, when dealing in the Confederates very close up, um, they're able to sometimes break me completely um, with their charges, and they seem to have bit more morale than than we do they're obviously fighting on home ground which would uh, enable that as well okay here we go the ground we got a uh, slight hill to climb we've got a town over there we've got a pretty nice hill over there what kind of cannons do I possess? 32 pounder hobbits is 124. And they're all full strength. And then we got the cavalry. I think we'll deploy them over here. And then for the infantry. Put four there. Put another four behind them. Okay, why? There we go. That might just have the. Alright, there we go. Our artillery might shoot them in the back. Uh, let's see. These guys might be the reserves. And then we have these. The engineers should be able to place bombs so let's have them in the front just to place some in case they come too close the uh, swaths never really do very well they seem to round a lot so we'll have them as reserves as well the volunteers will have them as reserve as well and we'll have this one over there this one in the back and this one up front Start deployment. I didn't actually check what the enemy brought. Maybe they brought a hell of a lot of artillery. But it seems nothing compared to the kind of artillery we brought. Just looking at the amount of explosions over at the Confederate side. Yeah, they brought one artillery piece over there. Okay, so the Confederates are marching down the hill to face us. You know what? I want you up here to protect. That's a good way to protect our flank. At the same time, since the enemy is coming at us, We will form line. And these guys will be in the reserve for the front line. We will bombard them a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and attack them. We'll bombard their artillery a little bit more. They're bringing in a load of reinforcements though, so it would be nice to start up the attack, but the Confederates have a pretty strong position. They've got a forest here to protect the right flank. We're obviously having to move uphill to get here, 
and they've got a nice little hill surrounded by fences over here. As per usual, the uh, air is a bit silly and they sent their uh, general up front. Although maybe that was a plan because it now I've shot all my bullets and we're standing here reloading just waiting for the 46th to fire into us delivering a devastating volley taking out 40 men and this unit has no chevrons or anything and it's been able to do oh we have you up there um, standing just in front of the I want you to march away this is not going too well. We got this one. Let's move these to get into the forest and start to flank. These guys have moved down, so I could e try to push more men that way. Could be winning that side. They're giving up the forest a little bit, so we could deploy as such and try to force our way into the forest. Main line is holding as this. Damn, these men have, are losing a lot by this fire. I think this fire up here is doing a lot as well as the one in the front. This unit has suffered heavy casualties. 160 men roughly, give or take. A little bit less actually. But they won't be able to stay for too long if this continues. So it's well that I push these guys up. Start to uh, fight the enemy on this side. The enemy battery is more or less silenced, so... Maybe we should go ahead and target the enemy infantry now. Let's go ahead and help out the attack by attacking this one and this one and this one over there. Let's focus on blowing their front line to shreds. We'll have you march all the way up here so you can get up on the hill. Ready! Ah! At this range, you should be able to get quite a good, quite a few good hits. Got artillery trained there, so should help a lot. They're broken. Let's swing up and attack them in the flank. Same time, we got we've got a concentration of Confederates turning up in the forest over there. Push these two cannons to help out there. And this one will continue firing towards the center. I'm surprised these are still holding, but I guess the chevrons have helped. Um, they're used to losing that, that this kind of sort of uh, manpower. Um, since we've got the logs there, there's no point in having the cavalry on that side. So we're going to push them through here and have them come around and help out in this flank maneuver that I'm doing. We got a nice fence there, so we could... What we could do is line this up a little bit better. To get up closer to the fence. Oh crap, 
Is the Confederates going to fire first, or what's going on? Let's see. No, we're going to fire first, I think. No. Oh, it's going to be... Yeah, the Confederates fired first. And that does not bode well. Didn't I tell a unit to target this one immediately? I think there's no point in this time to retreat. We're gonna hold this. Try to hold it. Okay, they're gonna flee. We are being outflanked. We'll have to fall back and come back at a higher position. And now the cavalry has made a way around. Oh, look at that. We've got an extra unit coming up. And two units routing. We've got a com concentration of Confederates here, but luckily my artillery is already pounding this. They won't stand for long. Um, this one is outnumbered over here by three of my units. This one hasn't started fire though. So I want you to hurry into position. Start firing. And as these guys break, we can push these up to follow. And the center has more or less broken in a sense. So we can continue to move up here. Same with this one, we'll move up. You will retake your position right here. Uh, one of the cavalry units have managed to get there. Let's get up far behind the enemy. Still very dangerous here since these guys are moving up very close to this line. So we'll have the two that made it here form straight. Since we're expecting these guys to start firing down from the hill. Let's have all the artillery concentrate on the center since we've got a lot of confederates moving around there in a weird formation of sorts. That probably killed loads of them. I saw we got one good hit. Right in among there. They're very spread out in a very thin line. I think we can charge them. You will move up here and you will possibly charge into this one. How's it going over here? I think these guys have switched to start firing at these, which will leave these to move up. I think what we'll do is we'll have the artillery fire at the enemy artillery stationed right there. These guys almost rounding just by the sight of the cavalry. But then again we've got Confederate Dragoons, Moosebees, <laughs> Moosebees, Riders, Raiders turning up. two confederate lines are broken. Let's charge the raiders. We got some faltering right there. Move into the flank. And you will move up here on the hill. Oh, look at that artillery barrage going in. Blowing everything to pieces. We've got a hole opening in the main line, but I've got reserves, I've got reserves. We've got two of these reserve units that will move in and take the spot of the units that were lost. You will reposition yourself a bit 
and you will move forward a bit. The Raiders going strong. Let's see how long they hold though as these guys come up to support. Ah crap, as these fell back. Wonder if the forest is gonna help them enough. Is that cavalry? No, that's a unit. We got a lot of wasted units out here. A lot of wasted potential. And the Confederates are making an advance on us. In this here region. gonna need help over here let's see against this one ah, I think we shot our own cavalry man that's the problem here but as long as we can take down their cavalry they shouldn't be that much of a problem here A lot of our men are on the retreat door routing. We've got something stuck in here. It's a general. My right is at this point completely open. They could advance towards my artillery. But I'm not sure how... Um, how eager the Confederates are to do such a thing. One of my reserve, Union Regular, is moving back. We've got a high concentration of troops over on the right. I want to start moving them to sort of fill a gap in the center. We got an enemy cavalry unit there, so I don't want to move too close to that. And yeah, they're in an exposed spot there on their own. And now the, the center is completely open with my men only remaining here on the, uh, the right. We're gonna make bold, a bold move. Let's see, advancing hard. Crap, these guys are retreating as well. You will reform and we'll have to call in these guys to aid and plug, try to plug the center. Get back to the front line. Target that unit. I want you to target the unit behind it. And you should target the one on the hill. We are s winning just slightly. The thing is though, when when <laughs> my units route com in a completely different way to the the uh, Confederate units. I mean this unit if that would have been on my side, it would have it would have run a long time ago. Oh, we whittled the enemy down quite a bit, and I think 
once we just start going a bit here, we will be victorious. I think it's safe for this one to advance. Upon our enemies. This one was broken. I think we'll see this one break pretty soon. This one is faltering. Let's concentrate these two batteries over there. This one will now concentrate on this strangely placed battery over here. Yeah, we got a route, we got a route, we got a route. Now I want you to route. These guys are pushing up, so let's just hold the position. Actually, these men can start to push forwards. Gain ground again. It's just an absolute massacre in terms of just we've just been slugging it out back and forth here on the open ground losing tons of men right these guys hold and fire watch out the swabs are firing fire up did we kill it yeah we probably killed someone or at least they got scared but that might also be for the fact that we got a superior number of regiments now marching to assault the enemy position. Forward! Forwards! They're all running all over the place. Right, I want to target this battery so we can get rid of those horsemen. And then the rest, I think, will flee upon that. The horsemen. Oh, crap. Halt! Prepare to receive oh, cavalry! Oh, Prepare to receive oh, cavalry! Oh, Some were able to fire. Halt! Aid your comrades! Wait, you're not even fighting back. There we go. Fight back. That's battery has been sent off. We're firing a load of shots towards the center. Let's get rid of that. Okay, these guys, we have to turn these two immediately. Conf the Confederate cavalry was allowed. Fixed bayonets. Upon your already fixed bayonets. And then charge. Fight the enemy. These guys will stand by to help you once they get free shots here. What we can do is we can leave give them an opening. Let's give let's give them an opening and let this unit fire through on the enemy cavalry. Get rid of them. Fire at a lot of them. We are victorious, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units routed on my side. A yeah, heroic victory, they say. It is well the war is so terrible that we should grow too fond of it. Well, given this battle and the fact that we lost, we lost 3,000 men, yeah. You could really feel that as we... Uh, as we went through the Confederates, however, they lost 4,800. 1,000 remaining. We have 2,000 men remaining. But the Confederates 
we've got a fresh unit coming up. Mostly Confederate volunteers, though. And I've got the money and the... I don't actually have the money and the power to resupply. Um, we're gonna actually wait to resupply these so we can resupply everyone next turn. Uh, but we beat them there. We'll be, we'll be able to beat them almost everywhere. Although I want to fight in Fort Augustine. Is, it, is that what it's called? I want the last battle to be there so we'll, we'll march up on the fort. And I'll just assemble the biggest army the south has ever seen. And we'll set something on fire. And then we'll attack the wall. Taps is composed. Taps was composed in July of 1862 by Harrison Landing, Virginia. Probably a uh, Union... Wait. Probably by a Union Brigadier General named Daniel Butterfield. Um... Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yes. Recruitments in West Texas. Buildings all over the place. Let's have the uh, skirmishers move up. The 127th. So I've got 127 27 regiments that I've recruited. Confederates seem to want to take us on here at the crossing so we're gonna pass around come around there and we'll face them somewhere around there at the same time we've got this unit which should be able to cut off cut off cut off cut off the retreat of the confederate forces in this area and we will be able to resupply this force. Now we can cut these guys off and kill them off. And we got loads of enemies in around here. The thing is they haven't put any men inside a town. What we, can we have Chamberlain move around and go after Jackson? A bold move. That might not at all pay off. Yes, sir. But we'll have Chamberlain coming closer here to support with McCallan and we'll repair the harbor. And I'm completely out of money. Yes, sir. And looking at the time, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. But I hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully you'll stick around and watch the next one. Although it hasn't been recorded yet, so. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.